Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's my opponent to go first. I have got a very promising rack. I'm not sure if I have a seven-letter bingo, but I'm sure there are plenty of eights that this makes. Lassinie, Lassinie is good. Kenai is good. Alliance is an anagram of Kenai. Great, a whole bunch of floaters, including an L for Kenai and Alliance. But what's the best? Do I have anything through the B? Well, not that I can immediately see. I do have the A, B, L, E ending. Can't see anything through that. Now, what about the A? Because that's in a double, double lane. No. I do have the I for Lassini E. And that's better than the... Well, I say it's better than Kanai and Alliance. But I'm not so sure because Kanai does not open up. Actually, Lassini E must be better because it obstructs the double double lane. Now there are two spots for this. I think this is going to be better because placing the C next to the double word square prevents my opponent from playing parallel. Sixty-four points. And that's pretty good. Through an R I would have forward or farrowed. I can't see a seven. Great, I draw a five point penalty. And if I don't have a bingo, it's a balanced rack and I've got the W and the F for score and I should be able to play off both of, the, both of them because few, four and wolf are all good, as is dwarf. Well, there is an R, R but it's not in the right position for my bingos. No, I certainly don't want to miss a bingo, so I need to consider the floaters. There is the B of Bailey. Nothing through that. And the L of Bailey. Can't see anything through that, and there's another L in Lassinie. Now, there may be a bingo through a vowel, but it doesn't feel likely. The F and the W need another consonant to hang together in a bingo. Now with the W I like to consider prefixes and suffixes. So I have where, W-A-R-E and W-E-A-R. That would leave me with D-O-F. Nothing there. I've got the ED ending. I've got word and ward. Okay, ward leaving F O E. Okay, I do not think I have a bingo. Now, my opponent has played arch, it doesn't take anything after it, but it does take a few letters in front and I don't have any of those. I'm wondering if I can play from D1 across a word beginning with W and ending with the F at D4. Can't see a word there. So, how am I going to score with my F and my W? Now, I could play Woff at J5 down. 
actually Woff here is going to be better. The rack leave of Reed is excellent. 28 points is a lot. So this is fine. And that is a fabulous pickup. I am definitely bingoing. Um, in fact, I have an abundance of choices. There's a whole load of seven letter bingos, all of which will play in column 10, pluralizing Bailey. That's not going to hit a double word square or a triple word square. Now, do I have anything through the W of WAF? No, not that I can see. And for the record, the, the sevens are roasted, torsade, troades, dotas. And I think probably some others. Now, my opponent scored 55 points, which is a really good score for him. But what am I going to do? I've got Lodestar and Leotards, and that's good. That's play They are playable in row C, and they do reach the double word square. Now, the only other possibilities I need to consider are a play through the B of Bailey. Broadest. Okay, well, that places a T in the middle of row O. I'm not sure I want to give that away. And the other good spot is column 8, beginning with the I, the second I of Bailey. Nothing there. Okay, my preference is therefore for Lodestar. And this is better than uh, Leotards, because it doesn't place a vowel next to the double letter square at D8. Lodestar 72. I don't have a bingo. I do have the X and I've got plenty of vowels which go well with the X. I have hoax. And I was going to say that plays at D12, but RO is not good. Otherwise that would have been a huge score. Twelve points for my opponent. Now I do have hoax at J5 down, but the rack leave is double E A, and that's asking for trouble. So can I do better with my X? And do I need to play it? Because I could play H A E across here. Let's see what this scores. That's 42 points, and I'm retaining the X for score. Next go. I am drawn to this play. I'm just looking around to see if there are any super hot spots for my X that I've overlooked. But I don't think I'm going to be able to score more than 42 and have a better rack leave than I currently have. Well, six vowels, that's not good. Fortunately, I do have the X, so I can play OXO at I8 across for over 30 points. And I've also got OXO at D8 across for fewer points. OXO would leave me with four vowels, which is not good at all. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to play off more. But I am going to look around in case I can. I can't see anything through the B of Bailey. So if I'm playing my X, OXO is the best I can do. And that's about 37 points, which is a lot. I'm wondering what the best I can do whilst retaining my X, and it's not going to be anything like that. Fortunately, OXO, or the spot for OXO, remains available. 37 points, and now I'm in the hands of the Tile Gods as to whether I draw more vowels. And I do. 
six vowels and one S, not good. I do have a 126 point lead. Now, what can I do about this? I can play Ida at A8 down, 18 points. That's certainly better than changing. What else do I have? I'd certainly like to play off one of my eyes. I'm not too bothered about the duplicate E's. X takes an O at the end, so I could play OI, but then I'm keeping four vowels and that's not good. Quite a difference between retaining three vowels and a consonant and four vowels and a consonant. You're far more likely to have a vowel, vowel problems in the ensuing rack. Now, time-wise, I've got 13 minutes, my opponent's got 15, and there's 45 tiles in the bag, so neither of us is in time trouble. I'm looking at the second G of gang to see if I've got to play through that, and I don't. Well, I have OG, but that uh, retains my duplicate eye, and it's a priority to split up that pair. I'm wondering if I can play in row G, parallel and above Bailey through the N of La Cine. Well, there's E-O-A-N, but again, that's not splitting up the eyes. Great, Ida remains available. My opponent gets 77 points, which is good for him. I still have a 50 point lead. Can I do better than Ida? Well, I think I can. Floating R in Outride enables me to play Airy. Only 12 points. And through the D, I would have Adoy or Oidia for not many points. Well, I think I'm going to go with the points here. 18 points. It's not a terrible leave. But that is a terrible pickup. I'm drawing a lot of vowels. Looking at the bag, there's one O left, there's one I left, there's one A left, and there's a whole bunch of E's. So this vowel problem ought to resolve itself fairly quickly. I'm looking to play off a couple a couple of eyes. Now can I do that? The Adoy spot has been blocked by Week. I note for future reference that Week takes an E and an S after it. So can I play off two eyes? Yes, I can. I can play TP at J11 down. Only 12 points. So, am I missing something? Can't see anything through the B of Bailey, which is the obvious place to play. So I'm looking around out right. I've got the T, there's the R as well. The D isn't available. Igapo is good, which I could play at E11 across. 16 points, retaining double IS. Now, I don't like retaining double I, but there is only one I in the bag. So, double IS, 
versus AIOS. I think I prefer TP. Igapo opens up A15, which isn't good, and with the shortage of O's, A's, and I's, it may well be a good thing to have one of each on my rack. Fabulous. I have a superb rack, and I am going to have several bingos. I have Boyarism at H4 down. I've played that recently in a tournament. I'll have plenty of bingos in row N, pluralizing TP. And Boyerism remains available. Great. Now that does place an M at 04, but that's not particularly dangerous. Famous last words. Yeah, if there is a better play than this, I don't think it's going to be a lot better. Oops. And doubling the M is going to add to the score. 78 points. That's really good, because I'm only 30 points ahead prior to this bingo, so this is going to give me a good lead. A good lead, rather. And that's not bad. I may have a bingo. Always difficult to see when you've got duplicate and triplicate tiles. I've got the E double T E ending, the et ending. And I've got that with PRE. I can't see any seven letter bingos on my rack. I'm considering the I in out ride. Epitrite is good, I don't quite have that. I've got the tree ending or beginning. I have that with pet. Okay, I don't think I do have a bingo. I do have a 113 point lead with 19 tiles in the bag. I'm looking to see if I can play in row L through the P of TP and ending with an E after week. That might score well. Now there are two U's, one O, one I, two E's and an A in the bag, or unseen rather. So that's seven tiles out of, seven vowels out of 26 unseen letters, so my opponent may well have a constant heavy rack. So I need to keep that in mind and maybe play off just one of my E's. Wow, that is a great play for my opponent. Brings him back to 43 points behind. Tiles in the bag are pretty grim, but they include the Q. So if my opponent got a good score with his Q, he could be right back in it. Now, this is quite a nice play, Brett across here. What's good about this is that at least one tile in the bag, it scores 27 points, which is good. It takes out both of the triple word squares at 01 and 08. If I'd have played across from 01 onto the M, 08 would have been available. This takes out both of them. And I'm keeping two two vowels, and as I mentioned earlier, there are very few vowels left. Only four vowels out of 19 unseen tiles, so it's quite good to have a vowel heavy leave. There is the Q, and I'm fortunate to draw a U 
to go with it. Another five point penalty. It would be nice to place my cue at J2 and have a play coming down through the A of any set ending at N2. But I don't have that. But I'm sure there will be places to play my cue. Well, I can play quiet through the eye of outride. I can play quay, Q U E Y at J one across, so I'm not going to be stuck with my Q. But is there anywhere really good for it? The M and the F do not go well with the Q. Ah, I just spotted Quat at K2 across. That's been taken out by my opponent. Now, there are... Sorry, Brett did not leave one tile in the bag. There are still five tiles in the bag. Now, what can I do with my Q? So I can play in column 13 through the I, but I can't reach the double word square, so I'm only going to get a small score. But that doesn't necessarily matter. It only matters if I'm missing a big score somewhere else. I'm looking around and not seeing anywhere. And I guess the advantage of, or one advantage of playing off the Q for not many points is that I'm retaining the F or the M for score next go. It would just be a shame to miss a, a 30 or 40 point play. It's, it's, it would definitely be a word that I knew. Well, I'm just wondering if I can place my Q at uh, G13, so that would be a QEI word. There isn't one of those. So do I play quiet or a shorter word? Now, quiet keeps EMF. I think I'd rather keep the two E's. So Quim for 16. There are two tiles left in the bag now. The bag looks pretty, all the unseen tiles look pretty grim. There's only two vowels, the I and the U, though the Y is a proxy vowel. I have a 72 point lead, so that, that should be enough. I do not have a great rack, but I'm glad I retained the, the vowels because I didn't draw any. Now I've got Fave at L2 down. which remains available. 33 points, that's a big score for my opponent. He is now 39 points behind. And I can see all of the tiles on his rack and they are not good. So what I'm thinking about is Fave down here. Scores 20 points and it leaves me with dent and tend so I've got ident at M11 across and I've got teened at A7 across so I'm definitely going out and fave isn't opening up anything amazing for my opponent I've got five minutes left So, do I have something better than Ident? Ident scores 12 points. And Teened, 6 points. I think if I do have an out, it's likely to be through a vowel, so that restricts the number of spots I need to consider. Uh, 
I can't play in column one. My opponent takes out the ident spot, but I have got teened or dnet. I've got just under five minutes left now. I'm just considering column nine to see if I can play parallel to Ida, but I can't. Okay, no, I can't see anything other than teamed or dnet. But we'll find out shortly if uh, there is anything else. So teamed for six. And my opponent challenges and ends the game. And the final score, 368 to my opponent, 428 to me. A winning margin of 60 points. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. He kindly provided six floaters for my rack. And I had Alliance and Kanai for 65, uh, Lassinii for 64. It looks like those may well have been the only bingos available, and I think Lassinii was best. Great, I didn't miss a bingo here. I did have Dauf playable at D1. It opens up column 1, but it does score 8 more points than Woff. Having said that, uh, the rack leave of Reed is a lot better than the rack leave of AER, so there probably isn't a great deal between those moves. Here, uh, an abundance of bingos were available. I played Lodestar for 72. The most I could have got was 74 for Broadest. This is where I played H-A-E. Yeah, and that still looks best. And at this point, yeah, Oxo, I think, clearly best. My opponent bingo to bring himself back in the game. I had six vowels. And I could have played aid at A8. Oh, I see. That's where I played Ida. Well, aid would certainly have been uh, better a rack leave of EIOS compared to AIOS. A small difference, but certainly a, a better play. Pirai was playable. Yep. That would have been a better play than TP. It would have scored 20 points. Wow, that's quite a lot. Okay, so that was a miss. Wow, Morpheus L8, where's that? Oh, through the TP of TP and pluralizing weak. Yeah, that would have been a great score. Instead, I got 78 for Boyarism. The other better play was uh, Rampions also through the P and Pluralizing Weak. I should have had a look for either of those. I'm not sure I would have uh, spotted them. I do know them, but it's uh, one thing to know a word and another to spot them in game time. Great. Nothing missed here. I played Brett. I could have played Tempter at 02. Difficult to say which is better because uh, vowels were at a premium in this particular game and Brett retained two. Ooh, there was a good play with my cue. I had fake at I-13. Okay, well that was uh, a poor show missing that. And looking at the other moves, none of them are significantly better than mine. Okay, fave looks fine. Now, what was there? Oh, great, nothing, just Dinette and Teened for six. Okay, well, that was um, an interesting game, always good to win, and a couple of nice uh, bingos in Lassinii and Boyerism. Uh, I missed uh, bingo in um, Morpheus and Rampions when I played 
voyeurism, or not so much a missed bingo as a suboptimal um, one being the one I played. But I think they're an interesting variety of racks um, for consideration during that game. So I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope you uh, maybe spotted something which can, uh, or learned something that can help you in your game. So thank you for watching. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for Dweebo Vision.